Hey guys, welcome back to Knowledge Life SolidWorks practice model tutorial series. In this video, we are going to design this cloth hanger. You can see in your screen, this is the model that we are going to design in this video. So let's open a part first. Click on the new, click on the part and go for the OK. You can see here the by default unit is millimeter gum second. So I need millimeter unit only. So Let's keep it like this. I'll select here font plane and go for the sketch, make it normal to the plane. And I will start with the slot, center point slot I'm going to choose here, like this. I'll go for the line once again. So I'll start the line from here, I'll go like this, go like this, from this point vertical. Now I will convert into an arc like this. Now I need to go for the dimension here. First I will give the dimension. Click on the dimension, give the dimension for this. I will be giving here the radius is 19.75. So I am going to give here 19.75. I'll give here length for this. This is having the length of 23.5. Now I'll be giving height for this. I'll give here this height from here to this point. The value is 18.25. So give the value 18.25. Actually, this is uh, 9 point, I have to give here 9.75, 9.75, like this. Now, I will be going for the dimension for other features. I will be giving the length for this from here to here, like this. Inclined dimensions, it is 10. And for this, having the vertical distance from here to here, which is 14. And here I need to give the radius of 11.5 mm. Now here I will give the relation at this point, this point and this point. Keep it horizontal and just go with the OK. Here we need to give one more dimension. The angle between these two. So click on here, click here. Now select here this arrow and give the dimension which is 135. Like this. Now little zoom in and go for the circle and draw a circle here like this. Give here diameter which is 19. And we need to specify the position from here to this center, vertical distance which is 40. Draw here one line like this and now I will go for the dimension. I will select this and this point. I will be giving a dimension here which is 190. Now you see your sketch is looking like this. Now go for the line command once again. Take a line from there and just click over there like this. Okay, I will just draw here one more line. I will start from this point like this, anywhere like this and just stop it over there. Now see this is not a horizontal line. So make it horizontal and give the relation this point and this point having the relation vertical and just go with the ok. Now here we need to trim this portion. I will just trim this. I need to give an angle here. So I will just go for the dimension. I will be giving an angle this and this. I will be giving the angle which is 70 degree like this. Here I will take line and I will just create a shape which is like this from here to here which is like this go for the dimensions 
keep the dimension here from here to here this value will be 15 degree now I will just convert into construction geometry and go for the mirror select this line and the mirror about this now if you want you can trim this portion click on this and just trim this click on the trim and trim this portion and this portion like this and you have to convert into construction geometry this as well this now you see here for this portion I have created the half portion already so let it be like this you can see here your sketch is getting fully defined so come out from the sketch I need to perform sweep operations so I need to go for the sweep so click on the sweep you can see we have here two options one is sketch profile other one is circular profile so I have created only the path I didn't create any profile so I want to use here circular profile so click on the circular profile and I will be giving the diameter of that circular profile is 4 and I will just right click here I will use the selection manager concept I will just click on this and just go with the ok now you see here it's creating a sweep operation like this just go with the ok so the sketch is not visible just go inside and make the sketch visible I will reuse this sketch again and again once again you go for the sweep command same you have to give the value there diameter value and you have to right click over there and go for selection manager choose this and just go with the ok the same way I will go for this also once again I will go for this give the value over there for right click selection manager and click on this and just go with that now you see here your model is looking like this and in the selection uh, sweep feature in the sweep features I am using this option circular profile but those who are using the solidworks 2013-14 like this older versions so for them these features won't be available so already I have explained the sweep tools so for them what you need to do click on this you have to go for the plane selection you need to select this sketch and in the second reference you have to select this point so over there you need to create a sketch in this plane plane is already selected so go for the normal to the plane this is only for those who are using the older version so for them you, you have to do it like this then now you see here here is my sketch so just go with this I will create a circle here like this and keep the diameter which is 4 mm you can see here your sketch is getting ready now in this sketch actually we need to give some fillet over here so for that what I will be doing I will just modify this little bit and I will go for the fillet and I will be giving here one fillet and here one fillet and I will be giving the fillet radius 8 mm just go with the ok this is my profile and this is my path actually this method is for those who are using the older version so click on this sweep so select this my sketch this is my right click over here selection manager click this 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 Now you see here your model is looking like this now I will hide this sketch and uh, this sketch now I have created here this portion half so I need to go for the mirror command so go for the mirror I need to use the 3d mirror click on the mirror and I will select here this features this feature this features this features this features and I need to mirror about this right plane and just go with that ok now you see here your model is looking like this now I need to apply lot of fillet so click on the fillet here and I need to choose here which is constant size fillet 
so I will choose here this edge and this edge I'll choose here this edge and this edge here also I will be choosing this edge and this edge and here also I need to give some fillet so I will be giving fillet to this edge this edge to this edge and to this edge I will be giving here fillet radius 4mm and just go with the ok now you can see here your model is looking like this and we need to give some fillet to this faces also I will be this edges also so I need to select this edge this edge and I need to select here this edge this edge and finally to this edge I will be giving here fillet radius 2 and just go with the ok now you see here your model is getting ready if you want you can apply some other appearance also so guys hope you have enjoyed this tutorials do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get such type of more videos on solidworks and other CAD software thanks for watching have a nice day and happy learning